Meanwhile, the Frida River is a tributary near the remote headwaters of Papua New Guinea's Sepik River, perhaps the most significant inland waterway in the Pacific. For the past 10 years, Frida River Limited, a subsidiary of Brisbane-based but Chinese-owned miner Pan Aust Limited, has been working on plans for a copper and gold mine on the river. It's currently seeking an extension of its exploration license, but communities at Frida River want changes. Don Wiseman has more. Bob Onigam is a community leader for Ogasai Village, which would disappear if the Frida River Limited proposal for a tailings dam that will double as a hydroelectric dam to supply power for the mine site and the local communities goes ahead. Onigam, who represents the village in quarterly meetings with Pan Ost, says they're fearful about this happening. He says they're not against the mine, but they want a different approach. The project definitely has to go ahead because it's very important for us that we need development in Frida River. Of course, the whole country, Papua New Guinea, they need a the mine. Uh, we all need a mine here. Uh, having said that, there are certain things which the company must listen. And they also must listen to us too. Presley Dumasok is the head teacher of Wabia Community School, one of two schools that will be relocated if the dam goes ahead. He says another concern is if families are resettled, could be to areas already occupied by other traditional owners. Wabia Primary School and Frida River Primary School will be most affected. We really like the mine. The companies go ahead with what they are doing, but the dam and the resettlement program, the, the whole community didn't want the dam and the resettlement program. They have to come up with other, other alternatives as to how they will go along with the development of the mine rather than the settlement and the, uh, the huge demand uh, plan. The Frida River Communities last month presented a petition to the PNG Minerals Resources Authority, the MRA, requesting that Panos drop plans for its tailings dam. Oningham says it's non-negotiable. We told the MRA that this dam is going to be non-negotiable for the interest of our people, for the uh, three villages, for the future generation. They have to find options for power source and waste management that the company can look at, rather than building a very huge dam. The planned dam is sitting huge. It'll be the biggest in PNG, standing 191 metres high, nearly twice the height of one of New Zealand's biggest, the Clyde Dam. It'll be 740 metres across and flood myriad valleys up the Frida River. Mines, of course, need to dispose of their tailings, and Panos says this is the best option. It says the combined hydroelectric and tailings dam will be far more robust than previous efforts to contain mine waste that it will continue to generate electricity for the local communities for many years after the mining operation is closed down. The company says on its website that it understands some mining projects in Papua New Guinea have caused widespread environmental damage and it's determined not to repeat the mistakes of the past. Environmental group project CPIC has led the push along with Jubilee Australia for Panos to ensure that it obtains the free, prior and informed consent the hundreds of thousands of people who live along the Frida and Sepik rivers. Project Sepik Executive Director Mary Bonney says if the company responded positively on this opposition to the dam, could win their support for the overall project. Ideally, you know, we would because um, then we would know that the company would be more responsible in the way it's um, handling its waste. Because our major concern, which is for the people of the the East Sepik province, is that the Frida River is a feeder in Pacific River, and it is likely if that if there if there is a dam up there, it is going to affect the whole of the Pacific River. Project Sepik has raised concerns about the threat posed to the dam and so for the people down the river valleys by an earthquake, which are frequent events in PNG. The company was not able to supply someone to speak to RNZ Pacific on the issues raised above, but it did make a statement. It said the Frida River project will help build stronger and more viable communities by establishing critical public infrastructure, generating skilled employment, creating business opportunities for local people. It says mining activities can have both positive and negative impacts on the social and natural environments. The company says it's working closely with landowners and the PNG government to deliver the project safely and responsibly. It acknowledges that this process requires comprehensive and ongoing stakeholder engagement. So the project won't start until all required permits, agreements and authorisations are obtained.